Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're going to be playing a little bit of Roblox. And I'm going to show you guys how I get my wood. There's many ways you can do it. This is just how I personally do it, how I like to do it. The best way I, I think it's the best way to do it. People have different opinions, and that's just my opinion on how to do it. So, we'll get started once I get my base loaded in. And, yeah. Alright, so I got my base loaded in. And, everything's looking snazzy. So, first I need to hook up my trailers. And I gotta go around back to do that. And then we'll head up to the top of the mountain. And... I'll see you guys when we're up at the top. Alright, so we finally made it to the top of the mountain. It looks like somebody has been here because there's pieces on the floor. Or on the ground, I mean. wonder if they're still up there or not. Can't tell from here. See if we can take them. We can. Um, I'm gonna drive around for these ones. Um, and once I grab these, I'm going to go. I'm going to reset my character so I can go back down to my base without having to walk all the way down. And I'm going to get my my small truck. And drive that up here and yeah so I'm going to do that right now so just come over here and hit reset character reset drop your axes you can see right there and there but nobody else can pick them up I think I would say blacklist everybody just to be on the safe side I'm, I'm pretty sure you have to have them whitelisted for them to pick them up and take them out. But don't quote me on that. So I'm just going to hop in my little truck and drive to the top, top of the mountain. And I'll get back to you when I'm back up there. Alright, so we're back up here again. As you can see in the back of my little truck, I got a piece of lava wood. And I end up finding that along the way on my way up with my little truck. And so I grabbed it and I'm just going to throw it in here with these other ones. And I'm going to get this axe. I'm going to get my cheapest axe and leave my most valuable one that I carry on me. And I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to take my little truck and leave my big truck with the two trailers here. And I'm going to drive up through the volcano just in case I fall in the lava. I, I only lose my little truck, which only costs $8 to replace, versus um, my big truck um, costs like 380 And I know it's not a lot when you have 5500 but... It's it can add up, so we'll get on with that. Now you got to be very careful. I like to stay towards the left side because when the boulders come down, they're always on. They're usually on the right side. If you stay on the left side, you should be fine. Now it is a little bit laggy. A little bit, but that's all right. As long as I can make it up there without falling in lava or nothing, then I'll be fine. All right, so made it up here, and now I just gotta chop down some trees, and I'll show you guys where to throw them down the mountain and all that. Let me chop a few down and 
I'll get back to you when I have some chop down. Alright, so I just chopped down this last tree and working on getting it over there the rest right now and I'll show you one I'll show you where to throw them down so then you don't have to worry about taking your truck with your trailers all the way up here just to get them because then it will, if you're driving down you can't just drive down the side of the mountain because there's a chance of you flipping over and then you have to come get all your wood back and load it back into your truck and if you drive down through the volcano there's a chance of you falling in the lava and then all your wood's gone and so I just throw mine down there like yeah right there you can see right there that's my truck and trailer I oh, can't see it now we want to throw it down there like for example this is a little piece so this piece you, oh wait no this is a, the medium sized piece we you just kind of push it till there and it just falls down and goes down there and don't be scared if you fall down here because you can just walk back up <laughs> I scared myself the first time I did it and then this piece is easy it's just little you can pick it up and Throw it down. But then pieces like this that are bigger, you can't just pick up so easy. And kind of try and like glitch out or freak out like that. And then pieces like this that are absolutely ginormous are really, really difficult. <laughs> you just kind of got to do this and then hit Shift and W and it'll move it forward and then let go. And it'll slide down. And so then at this point, now that they're all down there, you have two options. You could either take your truck down there and have some fun and just drive it off the edge, or you can just walk down there. And I, I the only time I walk down is if say one of, say this little piece right here got stuck up here. I just walk down here, jump up on there, move it, and throw it down there. Sure, then I wouldn't lose a tree or nothing. But if I don't have to do anything like that, I usually just drive my truck down. Because it's fun. <laughs> Most of the time you flip it though. Let's just drive off the edge. And boom. Oh, I almost went back into the volcano. Surprised I land that landed that one. All right, so now what I like to do is see how like this tree is all the way over here. I just like to grab them, put them relatively close to each other, just so then when I load everything into my truck, I don't have to move my truck every time. And so then it's kind of close to the roof. This one I'll probably just leave just because it's so big and difficult to move. And well, after you have your trees chopped down, down you can pick up your good axe and use it. Come on, give it to me. There you go. And so now what you want to do is just take your axe and chop these up into logs. And and yeah. So I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. Alright, so I just finished the last of the chopping up I have to do. And as you can see, they're all in individual pieces. And so now all I gotta do is load them in my truck and take them back to my base. So I'm gonna start doing that and I'm gonna show you a little bit of how I load them. And I'm not going to show you my truck because I have those awkward pieces in here that don't stack very well. But I put, I take a piece like this and I put it right up against the wheels right there. And I take another piece, another decent sized piece like this, and I put it right up against it next to it. Like right here, like you can just throw it in there like that, but then you can move it. 
And then if you can, try a third piece. And just do that and then move it over again. And then that little gap that was right there, you can take like little pieces like this and drop them in very carefully. Somehow. What to do? There you go, just like that. And drop them in. And then um, little pieces like this can go right there. Oh, just kidding. But it can go right here. This one's just a hair too long. But it can go, they can even go like this right here. And yeah, because you can't fit another long piece in there. Something like this might fit in that area. I don't know, I'm just going to throw it in the back here though. Just so I don't have to worry about it. Because it's big and awkward and stuff. So I'm probably not going to be able to fit all this wood in my truck and trailers. But that's alright because I can take a second trip. It's no big deal. I just had to take a second slow trip. <laughs> so I'll get back to you once I have them all loaded. Alright, so I believe this is the last piece that I can fit in here. If I can even fit it in. Oh, yeah, there we go. But I'm not going to try and fight with any more pieces to get in there. Still that little bit over here, over there. But that I can just get next time. And like this, my, the back end of my truck, you can organize that a little better. There's just some awkward pieces that don't organize very well. So it's just a jumbled mess. Otherwise my back end looks like that. And so I'll show you a little bit of like this lag right now. It's not the screen recorder. This always happens. I'm going to blacklist this dude so he can't take my wood. Well, good thing he didn't try to. And like how slow it is right now, I am pressing W to go. And it's taking slow. It's going slow. It's, it takes a solid two or three minutes to get down the mountain. Like just down the mountain, and like where my base is, that takes like another minute or two. But so I won't bore you guys through this, so I'll get back to you when I'm at my base. This dude's just stealing my wood. Retarded. No way, I'm gonna keep hitting it until you give me my wood back. Like, I freaking blacklisted you, uh, so you shouldn't be able to touch my wood. Retard. But no, according to the game, anybody can touch your wood. Probably my wood down there is probably gone. Dude, I hope you don't make it down the mountain with that wood. I hope you flip over since you decide to steal my wood. I think that's retarded. I'm nice enough to not steal wood. That wood that was there that I found, that's how I found it. Versus that dude saw me with a truck full of wood. And then, and then went up to the top, you know, person that thought about it would think, oh, maybe it's that dude that had the full truck, maybe it wouldn't fit in his truck, so, you know, let me go get my own. No, instead he's like, ooh, free wood. I'm going to pull a picture up of my truck that I wrecked and wood fell out, and I had to go all the way back, I had to walk all the way back to the top of the mountain to get my little truck. To then drive to the bottom of my base and 
respawn my big truck and trailers and then go and get my wood again. I got to the wreckage site and now you're gonna pick it all up. I'm trying to turn this truck around, but I, uh, it's not gonna work. Not as easy as I was hoping, at least. That's wrong button. Hopefully, I can just pull right, right up here. Right through here. And get it. There we go. And then I can just back out in a minute. Once I have it all loaded up. Alright, so we finally got back to the base. It's a long way down the mountain. Just because it's so slow. Because it's so glitchy and laggy and all of that. All that fun stuff. So I'm gonna try and pull my truck in here in an odd way. <laughs> Doesn't hope that hatch right there. Can't really drive over it very easily. Actually I'm just gonna pull straight. Just kidding. Alright, so I got one load done and I'm gonna have to come get those few pieces in a minute because I'm not gonna be able to fit anymore and I had so many issues getting them in there and it's really starting to be annoying. So what I do when I come here is I just back my truck up to one of these. Doesn't matter which one. I just back it up to one of them. One thing I like about having a big truck is you can open the tailgate. So what I do is open the tailgate and it turns the back of the, the bed of the truck into a little conveyor sometimes and it pretty much just unloads the wood for you okay so i have thirteen thousand dollars now when i started i had five thousand so i made eight thousand dollars which is nothing compared to what i usually make okay well we're gonna end it there because everything well hell broke loose here First of all, this dude's halfway in my base, glitching my trailers out. So now I gotta spend another like six hundred or five, six hundred bucks to replace those. And then there's these dudes being an annoying as crap, and uh, just getting really annoying, and it's bothering me like hard, bothering me. So we're just going to end it there, made $8,000, usually I make more, but that one dude stole a bunch of wood from me, so that didn't help at all, and so yeah, we're going to end it there, I think I'm going to turn this into more of a Let's Play series, to where, like this one was kind of a, more of an informational, like how I get my wood, how I personally do it. And, but we can do like a let's play where I can go through like the blue wood maze. Like I don't know the maze right off the top of my head, but I can pull a map up online and look off, look on there of where to go to check the doors and all that. So that could be something to try or I could like finish some projects in my base or something like that, but turn it into like a let's play series. And, um, I'm planning on doing, like, a Let's Play for, like, Minecraft as well, possibly. Maybe on some servers, maybe on, like, a survival world. Or just see what crazy things I can build and create or something. And, um, I need to, I want to play, I want to make some, like, Clash Royale videos and, Blue's Tower Defense Battle videos, because I've been just absolutely loving those games lately. And I need to figure out how to record the screen of 
my either my Samsung smartphone or my Samsung tablet because I've been looking online and depending on if you have a Samsung or not or a Samsung or LG it varies on ways you can do it so you guys have it like to be specific I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 if there's any difference there if you guys have any suggestions for like any good apps I can download for on my tablet or phone or what I was thinking was get it to where I can display the screen of my phone onto my computer screen and then take my screen recorder on my computer and record the screen of my phone that's being displayed on my computer screen. Sounds complicated, but if you think about it, it's a lot easier. For all I gotta do is display my phone screen on my computer and it's all set. I just gotta figure out how to do that. But if you guys have any suggestions for any apps or any ways to do it, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'm going to try and figure out as soon as I can because I would absolutely love to do Clash Royale and Boone's Tower Defense Battles videos and not have to stick to Roblox and Minecraft and all that. And I'm hoping to try and upload at least once a week. And if that doesn't seem like I'm uploading enough, if you guys think I should upload some more, then just tell me. And if I want to upload some more, then I might up it to two videos a week, and then so on and so forth. But I'm thinking one video, a video a week will be good to, to start off with, because I'm not going to jump into like two, three videos a day, or nothing like that, or even a video a day. That's a little, a little much. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that little Roblox session, and I want to do some more, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed.